The name of this event is called Exposure, and the idea behind Exposure is to expose everybody in here to different local artists in St. Louis, but we also want to dedicate this entire show to the condition of homelessness in the city, because right now we're right on Washington Avenue, and I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a lot of homelessness going on in the city, so we wanted to dedicate this whole show to uh, raising awareness about homelessness in St. Louis. Right. I started this show out all along, okay? Um, we want to first give my thank yous, right? Um, first, I want to give thanks to God for allowing us all to be possible. Because there's no way, you know, how people complain about the rain and everything. I know us uh, colored people, we uh, ain't coming out no rain, no sleep, no sun, nothing like that. We ain't messing up our good hair, stuff like that. So, thank God for you guys uh, being a part of this experience. It's so many times that people in this house tonight. So, uh, Let's see, I want to give some more thank yous. I definitely want to give a thank you to, uh, to the House of Comedy for even allowing us to have our, you know, event in this establishment, their whole staff and everything. So I also want to thank all my family and friends. I got a lot of family in the house, man. Like, family on the side of, like, the family section right there. Friends scattered about. And just people in the community, man. Like, I just give... <laughs> you know, I don't know where she's at, but to um, my sister, where you at? That is so funny, I can hear myself breathing. <laughs> okay, my sister Adrian, you know, this is this is our vision. And I and I think I thank God for like crazy friends, right? Um, this is not a stand-up show for me, right? But I thank God for crazy friends because we got the kind of friends that we're like, man, you know what? I want to start a open And I'll be like, that's dope. And I'm like, yeah, you want to be flying saucers and stuff like that? Because believe it or not, man, so many of our friends from out of town and everything has contributed to this whole event. And it looks like it, but they have. They sent in money to donate and everything. So we have some great friends locally and out of the, you know, the state and everything like that. So we want to just get, definitely give it up for everybody who support us. And, you know, and it looks like y'all ready for me to walk on the stage right now. So. She's at the comedy game, she be spitting and all that. I told her, how, you know, if I'm up here too long, I'll just go here and break her. Uh, so I want y'all to uh, give me your undivided to fuck what I did. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. That's over. So with that being said, I want y'all to show some love. Give it up for the hilarious and she's a cool chick. The ladies love her. I love her too. Show some love for a girl. Kim, give it up. Fuck going to 
the bathroom. I wanted to work one day before I lost my job. And uh, I was looking all nice and firm and together. And went to the bathroom and I was gone for 30 minutes. And my supervisor sent somebody to come look for me. I was butt naked in the bathroom with a body blanket around my neck. I could not get it back on because you could see the look. And my breath was in the way. Therefore, my friend came down and she had to hook it back up for me. We missed the move. And so, I don't worry anymore. I just try to hold my breath and hold it in. <laughs> but my other friend said she was going to wear her to, her to the club the other night. She did. I tried to warn her. I said, girl, you will not be able to use the bathroom. She said, I got it. She went in the bathroom. She said, I'm just going to unhook it at the crock court. <laughs> so y'all know what happened right now. <laughs> she peed all over herself. <laughs> I was calling her stanky leg all night. <laughs> she said, I'm going to go home. I said, good. I'm glad I drove my own car. Because you want to get in my car smell like that. Please.